this is a puzzle room. Uh, this is the first one out of three that we have, and we have we have four puzzles created, and the game randomly picks uh, three out of those four puzzles. And so, if the player plays through the game twice, they'll experience different experiences because they're going through different rooms and they're experiencing different puzzles, and they'll be facing different different enemies and uh, experiencing these different story arcs. And so that's kind of one of the things we wanted to do with this game. Um, Lord Craven has a fascination with dollhouses uh, for some reason. <laughs> We're going to write that into the script later. Um, maybe he's kind of like a puppet guy. He likes to do puppetry. Uh, he likes to play with creepy dolls. We don't really know. But he has made these little dollhouses and he can use these to actually control the shifting of the rooms uh, themselves. So let's take a look. And we're actually shifting with the rooms. Let's look at that again. How cool is that? Uh, this is what we really, really started to get excited about Graven Manor as uh, these puzzles. Um, in order to solve this puzzle, we need to do this. Rotated that room around. And now we can go pick up a key in here. You see I've run out of flashlight power now. Uh, this is a placeholder for a key uh, to get out of this room. Let's go back. Continue solving the puzzle. Here's a flashlight battery. Let's pick that up. Refill. I'll switch that around. Now we need to get the red room back in front of this middle area. We're going to have to do this twice. So that we can rotate it. This would be the hardest uh, puzzle out of all the kinds of puzzles that we do. This is a much more complicated puzzle than uh, ones that we're usually going to be doing. But we did want to ha uh, try to do on here just to see if we could just to prove if it was too hard or too easy or concept that idea a little bit more. So we had that key and so we got the door open. Uh, this is the second clue room. Um, you can see we picked up the clue and it turned the lights out. Kind of creepy. It says another key. It's remarkably similar to the first. I wonder if they are a pair. The lights went out as soon as I picked it up as if the house is angry. So it's kind of uh, getting a little bit creepier now. Let's get that flashlight battery going here. I'll try to save this one by turning my flashlight off. There's another one in here. I have two flashlight batteries. Um, this is another puzzle room here. Uh, before we got to the 3D map idea that moves around like you saw in the last puzzle, we had concepted a 2D map. Um, this won't be in the final game, uh, but we did want to concept this also. So you can see the 2D map moves and then we also move the rooms that we're in. For time's sake, I'm just going to go ahead and solve this puzzle. But you can kind of see uh, how the moving rooms is kind of cool. Uh, this is our third key room. Uh, we pick up the third key for this story arc. Um, found yet another key. It's a brother to the other two I've found so far. Uh, they must be all connected somehow. All right. We're kind of reaching our, our climax of the story here. Let's check this out. Did that room just fall off the table? Oh no. Oh no. I've got to go. Oh no. That was close. Oh man. This is our final room. 
statues in the game are going to be an enemy that move uh, whenever the lights are not on. So if you shine them with a flashlight, they should freeze. And then we're able to move past this guy and uh, turn on the breakers, which will flood the house with light, killing this enemy once and for all. Uh, that is our game so far. Um, I'm going to show you one more thing uh, before we go. Hi again. Uh, like I was saying earlier, we're going to have projectors in the game. Um, uh, you're going to be able to enter safe haven rooms and find these projectors, which are going to reveal a little bit more about the story. Uh, there are also going to be places where you can save your game. Um, here's an example of that right now. Let's turn off our flashlight so we can see it. Uh, so we would enter this room, and uh, there would be a projector on the wall here. Um, as you can see, uh, we'd be able to look at different things on the projector, such as uh, maybe get more information about the game uh, that can't succinctly fit in our notepad. Um, it's just kind of our menu system uh, where you go to save or load games or anything like that. Hi guys, um, just wanted to show Armando that we can quickly get uh, music into the game. Uh, I put your Craven underscore pass four into the game just to see how it felt, and it feels really good, and I like it a lot. Um, so you can hear that playing now in the background. Uh, another thing I wanted to show you guys is that if we play through the game a second time, I haven't changed anything. Uh, due to our technology that we have in place, we are able to present a different game to the player. Um, we're able to present a different game to the player each time they play through due to the randomness of uh, grabbing rooms. Uh, so, that is a dead end room. Let's try another one here. Might not be able to tell yet, but um, we are diff pulling up different rooms than we did the first time we played through the game. Uh, this is our first clue room again. Um, if you, we get to a puzzle room, it'll be more apparent that different rooms are being grabbed every time. Uh, this is a puzzle that we haven't seen before, uh, for instance. Um, let's go ahead and play through this one, and uh, then we will conclude the demo. Of course, if anybody has any questions, uh, please uh, feel free to email me and ask me those questions because I'm sure there's a lot uh, that I forgot to go over here um, today and I will be happy to answer any questions to the best of my ability. Uh, some things we're not going to be able to decide right away without uh, the team being here to discuss things. I am the project lead but uh, I take it very seriously that we are all, uh, everybody on the team is a game designer in my eyes. Um, this progress that we've made so far wouldn't have been possible without uh, the teamwork from all 12 group members uh, working very hard uh, to get this ready in two and a half weeks. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, we're very, very excited about this game. I know I'm a little bit tired this morning, but we are very excited about this game. Thank you so much for watching and uh, hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.